Hi, welcome to my channel. This is the first time ever I'm doing uh, videos with my worksheets that I've actually made online. Um, and I'm uh, really very excited about this. So keep watching till the end. I have 16 worksheets for you to share with. And um, just wanted to go about quickly and tell you about the worksheets we're doing in this group, that is group six. So we have X, that is Y, that is here. We have the digraphs that are, that are sh, ch, and th sound. In the third sound, we have both the voiced and the voiceless th sound, but it have a lot of it has a lot of words, and it's a little, little bit confusing to begin with with how you say each sound. Unvoiced sound is also called as voiceless sound, and it is confusing to some people. So we'll go ahead and make a separate video for that. So please stay tuned for that. Here we have uh, in the first worksheet we have matched the objects to the sound in the circle. So here we have xylophone X. So you're just going to add X in the space that's provided. X as an X ray, you're going to go ahead and add X there. So X at the end, six. The fire does not match box X and fox X at the end. The next uh, worksheet is ear sound. So when you uh, are practicing the ear sound, make sure that you say Year, year, yes. Uh, same way, year, year, yellow. So you're just going to go ahead and add Y there. The next one is yacht. So you Y there. Yogurt, Y. Year, year, yak. Year, year, yawn. And year, 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 year. Next worksheet we have is number three. That is ch sound. Ch, ch, chop. Like that, ch, ch, chocolate. Ch, ch, chime. Ch, ch, cheese, ch, ch, church, ch, ch, chin, and ch, ch, chick. Next we have is a sh sound. So sh, sh, shed, sh, sh, shorts, sh, sh, shell, sh, sh, sheep, sh, sh, shirt, sh, sh, shark. I have some of the sure sound here, but please excuse that. So here comes the troublemaker th. So th. This th closely resembles to the sound th, as in the th. So remember, this is the voiced sound. So in voice, in between your teeth, the th sound is usually found in the beginning of words like this and that. So there might be some words like father we have here that is in the middle. So, so we have they, we have these books, those books, this book that book so again we have they father these book those books and remember we are saying these and those this and that because this two are singular and then we have a plural words so it's saying the same thing but just because it's singular it is this and that and this is far away so it's that these books because it's plural and those books because it's far and plural. Okay. Next is the third sound. In this, your tongue is coming out further out than it was in the previous third we just saw. I'll explain in depth in the next video where I'll compare both the third sounds. So your third as in thin, th as in tooth, mm, auth, think, throw, and thumb. We're doing scrambled words. So in the scrambled words, you're going to go ahead and do the, you know, unscrambling of the words and you're just going to go ahead and write the spelling of each word and you can help your child here if they don't know it, which I'm not expecting they should if they are three or four years old. You're just going to write P-I-J pig, S-E-A-L seal, D-U-C-K duck, D-O-G dog, S-H-A-R-K shark and cat, lion and deer. Okay, so this is a pretty interesting worksheet. Here, what you're going to do in the first one is you're going to look at the picture that is DR, that is a blend, and you're just going to look at the picture that is the ink, and you're just going to blend those together. So dr and ink, these two will make the sound drink. So you're just going to write that down here, drink, six, and th will make sixth, s plus pot will make the word spot, b and ring will make the word bring. So we had addition here, now we are doing subtraction. So S from ship will make the word hip. S from shop will make the word hop. S removed from swing will make the word wink. 
we remove C from the word cache, so this is cache, we remove C from cache and then we get a new word ash. Form a new word. So in this, you're just going to follow the directions that is in the parentheses here in the brackets. And here it says change ch to t. So you're going to change the ch from the chin and put t instead, it'll be 10. And you'll write it here. So the next thing, same thing, you're changing br to sp. The blend here br changes to sp and it'll make the word spring. Change p to f. So you're going to take that pr and put f, so f, eel, feel. And then we're changing the m here to the t and it'll make beat. Next, look at the picture and change the initial letters only. So you're changing, you're looking at the picture, this is tooth. So you're only changing the t to the b, so that will make the word booth. Here is the, the word is snake, the picture is snake, so you're changing the sn to the fl, so that will make flake. So the fl comes here and then just writing the, the rest of the words. This is a chain, so tr, so train. This is a fish, so you're going to change the f to the d, so f to d, a dish. This is a ship, so you're changing the sh to the tr, so that will make the word trip. Green, so you're changing the gr to the scr, that is a tri um, trigraph here, and that will make the word screen. Next, we are going to do the initial blends of the picture. So I have two worksheets in this, and this is a pretty intense worksheet. It took me forever to make this, but this is a great worksheet. Look at these two. So I've included all the initial blends of the L blends and the R blends, and I've also included S blends and some trigraphs. So very simple worksheet to do. All you have to do is match the initial blends with the picture that's given in the box. So the final blends and the other uh, blending um, words I'll be introducing in the next group, or I will be making a separate video for that. So don't worry about that just yet. So we're going to go ahead and match each blend to their respective pictures. So here we have BR that goes ahead and matches to brain. Here we have the dragon, so it's going to go ahead and match DR. FL flag, BL blade, PL plant, CR crib, globe, GR we have grass, FR frown, TR train or tram, CL we have uh, clam, SL sled, PR prize, and DR, I think we already did DR, so that's them. Next, we have SK, skirt. SHR, we have uh, shrimp. SCR, we have screw. SC, scarf. SM for smile. ST, star. SPR, spray. SDR, strawberry. SQU, squat. SP, Spoon, SW, swan, SN, snake, TW, twig. In this worksheet, we have uh, digraphs, uh, diphthongs, and valve combinations like EE -E here. All you're going to go ahead and match the flip flops that has the word EE -E in it. So these two do not match, so you're going to leave them alone and not match it. Okay, just color the, the ones that match the ee -E. so same thing you're going to do with the rest of them just remember that these um diphthongs and uh, digraphs of the vowel sounds we covered in the previous videos so you if you haven't checked those out make sure you cover those first before you go ahead and uh, do this because those are covered in depth like the word storm which has or in it or ai um, that has the word rain just a word of caution for the sound EA, it has three sounds yeah, and it could have more, but mainly EA sound could be great. It could be peel or seal and it could also be a sound like bread. So make sure you cover all your vowel combinations in the previous group before you move on to this group of group six. Moving on to worksheet number 12, here we're just going to match and then write the word.
the acid joins with the ship, the fish, and the shoes. If you notice, you have the TH and the CH that is joined, but the SH I couldn't join. Um, but you want to make sure that your S and H is joined too. So remember, Jolly Phonics introduces the um, cursive writing. So you want to make sure the TH, CH are beginning to join when your child is writing. They're already five years and above. They should be able to start joining letters uh, for cursive writing purposes. Okay, so I hope that was helpful for that, but I'll make a separate video for letter formation. Next, we are doing tricky words. So for tricky words, all I did was draw a tree and put some leaves on it with she, the, he, and I. And these are the words that uh, Jolly Phonics introduces as tricky words in this group. So all you're doing here is, and you can really use any tricky words of your uh, choice. So I've given a color she for green, the for red, he for orange, and I for yellow. And all you're going to do is just ask your child to color the picture. Uh, the color the leaf with the tricky word that's been um, the, with the designated color and once they color that you'll find a beautiful tree there this is a pretty simple worksheet you can do at home next is numbers read and write so number six is the number that's been introduced in the group six of jolly phonics because we did one two three four and five in the previous groups like the fourth group had number four introduction and fifth group had number five introduction so all you're going to do is ask your child to write six three times and then write number six three times. Next is match the number to its name. Pretty simple. We have six party hats. You're joining it to number six. And then you're joining that to the name of the number that is six. And you're doing that with all the rest of them. Pretty simple. Next, we are going to go ahead. This is the last and final worksheet. We're going to do the looking at the picture and answering the question yes or no and then completing the sentence. So this is a very important worksheet for comprehension purposes and for vocabulary, which improves if your child is learning to read sentences and then able to answer the question. So I have a couple of pictures here on the side. The snake is in the grass and you're answering with a yes or no. You just write yes, comma, the snake is in the grass. So your child can just copy from the sentence up here. The yes, the snake is in the grass. Next is the cat has a bone. No, comma. The cat does, the dog has a bone. Next, the frog is in the pond. No, comma, the duck is in the pond. Next, the plane is in the sky. Yes, the plane is in the sky. All right, guys, so these were 16 worksheets. 10A and 10B are considered two worksheets. So that's why you're seeing the number 15 here. But trust me, there are 16 worksheets and I would like to give them to you for free. All you have to do is like, share and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you comment below. Tell me whether you like the hand-drawn hand worksheets or whether you like these worksheets. It took me half the time to make these worksheets, so I will not feel offended if you tell me that you like these worksheets better. All you have to do is comment. Once you comment, reach out to me on Facebook page and tell me, hey, I commented, and I'll be right with you. I'll send you your worksheets right then, I promise. So make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe. Take care.